All right, well, how's it easier? As you can see, I like bulbs is out. I'm gonna replace them with LED bulb. This LED, you have to readjust headlights. It should be fairly easy there. On this side. The first thing I'm gonna do before replacing the bulbs, I'm gonna use that fence right there for measurements. Only one working, but you don't really have to have lights to work. I'll just do a rough measurement. I could be wrong, but that's how I do it. There are a bunch of YouTube videos how to correctly do it, but I'll do it this way, which is pretty simple. Just make sure you adjust your headlights, you don't want to blind other drivers with LED bulbs. Okay, so I checked it's about 3 feet. Here is about 3 foot, but a little bit lower there. The gun is a little bit lower, but the guy here, which is actually easier for me, is, is below this uh, wooden piece. So now I'm going to back up and see how, how it's measured at like about 20-25 feet distance. So as you can see it stays about the same. So now I'll show you really quick, that's what I got. Ox beam LED bulbs. Driver's side, looks like, just unplug it, I guess it's di dielectric here maybe, so unplug it, and let's see what else I have to do, never done it before on this truck, kind of push it away, Pull this out. And let's see what else we got there. That's simple. Just pull it out. And that's it. It's out. Just to show you how it it looks. It goes I think like this. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it goes like this. So this one on the top and those two at the bottom. Let's try. That's it, it's in. Well, wow, that was super easy. I should be using dielectric, but it's getting late, so I'm not gonna be using it. But if you have time, probably use it. Okay, this, what goes now on top of it? I'm gonna fish this uh, connector through. Sorry, I don't have mount to record it and do it all at the same time, but tough to do it with one hand, but I'll try. Sorry guys, couldn't record it this one hand, but push it through, it's a rubber, so it's going through. Now, let's try to put this together, put this rubber thing in. And I'll have to, actually no, I thought I was going to have to use two hands, but it went in easily. 
Now I will just connect those two connectors here. Right, it's connected. And I'm gonna start the truck. I wish I started a bit sooner maybe the installation itself, but it's getting late on it. I'll have time to finish it all. I might. Okay, let's turn it on. A lot brighter and obviously I'm gonna have to adjust the headlight. Look at the difference though. Very nice. I like how it looks. Okay, it's 8 millimeter. Let me show you again. 8 millimeter. I'm gonna use that is 8 millimeter. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna put my camera towards the fence and I'm gonna try to first I'm gonna do it clockwise. Okay, actually I should be able to just with my hand just adjust it like this. So it looks like uh, clockwise it's gonna be lower in it. Okay, I'm tired of using my hand, so I'll use socket wrench. I can say clockwise is to lower it from what I've seen. I think it looks pretty good. Now let's move to the next one. First I thought to do just one and then go call it a day, but I figured since it was a fairly quick one, I'm gonna replace this one as well. This one looks like gonna be a lot easier. Looks like access to adjustment bolt is a lot easier. And this one. I think it's easiest bulb replacement I've done in a while. If anyone can tell me that die electric or it's some other crap on it. Looks kind of, color's kind of weird, but I don't know what else it could be. So let me know what it is, that'll help me out. So same thing, take the connector off, remove the rubber thing, and yeah, this one's a lot easier. You can see actually everything here. So we just take this off, like this, forgot that it's hot, so be careful. Okay, that's a replacement. Just remember, and on this one you can actually see how holes are aligned, but that one bigger in the middle goes on top, and those two go to the bottom. Now we're gonna put this back, make sure the bottom metal clip, push it a little bit. I'll need two hands for this. Okay, so again, I'm gonna hold like this, this one, and I'm gonna push this bottom portion down, and this one up. And that's in. Just in case, I'll show you. Now 
Now time to put this rubber boot on. Again, this side is a lot easier, so that's very good. In. Same thing, put the on, the boot on. And connect it. Okay, this side is done too. Time to start the truck, see what we got. As I expected, you see the right one is a lot higher. The front door looks really nice. I like that it's not yellow, yellowish lights. It seems like it's crystal white. So I'm gonna adjust. So to show you right here, you can. This one a little bit tougher, but I'm producing So you, you saw that, and now I'll do this. a bit better now okay I think it's good probably would have been better to use a white fans but I guess it's good I'll keep more testing I'll obviously I'll check with my brother or someone else to to see if they have like a, one my brother has a dent to see if it's gonna blind him those lights I'll definitely check and make sure you check too you don't want to be that annoying driver with LED bulbs uh, blinding other coming traffic, whether you're behind them or on coming lane, just make sure, like I say, don't be that kind of guy, make sure your lights are properly aligned. So that's pretty much it. Unfortunately, can't really show you how they look because for whatever reason it's too blinding. So I'll try to take a picture and the picture is gonna be good. This picture gonna come out good. I'll put it in my video as well. If you have any questions? If you have a question what LED lights I use, let me know as well and I'll send you a link on YouTube. And that's it, take care.